My anxiety dictated who I was as a kid. I can vividly recall the moment I determined it was necessary to receive treatment. I finally opened up to a psychologist and psychiatrist and received proper treatment for my anxiety. Now I know more specifically general anxiety disorder. Our speaker tonight, Dr. Kay Redfield Jameson, has provided much needed hope and comfort to countless individuals and families impacted by mental illness. Within three months, I was manic beyond recognition and just beginning a long, costly personal war against a medication that I would, in a few years' time, be strongly encouraging others to take. My illness and my struggles against the drug that ultimately saved my life and restored my sanity had been years in the making. The major clinical problem in treating bipolar illness is not that there are not effective medications. There are. But the patients so often refuse to take them. Worse yet, because of a lack of information, poor medical advice, terrible stigma, or fear of personal and professional reprisals. They do not seek treatment at all. I had many concerns about publicly discussing my illness. I had no idea what the long-term effects of discussing such issues so openly would be on my personal and professional life. But whatever the consequences, they were bound to be better than continuing to be silent. I was tired of hiding 